It's officially been over a year since I launched Finding Ice to the Steam Marketplace. After some quick thinking, I decided to scrap the original game entirely and replace it with a fresh, redeveloped game that has a new storyline and a more aesthetic colour scheme. I've been using Unity for almost four years now and have come to see it as one of the best beginner-friendly tools out there. I've built countless projects using this software, so it only felt right to use Unity to redevelop Finding Ice. Some of the features I absolutely love include the simple terrain tools where you can simply load on a texture without the need to create an individual landscape materials, unlike in Unreal Engine, and I also love the fact that it feels lightweight and fast. But in the last year and a half, I've started to notice some issues with the engine, which I thought I'd discuss as Unity is quickly falling out of the indie dev good books following the pricing changes. For those of you who don't already know, Unity has recently changed their pricing structure, so you'll now need to pay up to 20 pence per install of your game, rather than just paying a monthly subscription fee. Couple this with the fact that I've found the post-2021 engines to be noticeably slower than the 2019 engine, Unity is quickly losing its attractiveness, and the chances of small devs like myself switching to Unreal Engine are increasing exponentially. Unreal Engine and Epic Games seem to be doing the opposite to Unity. Epic Games now gives up to 100% of sales revenue directly to the developers, and Fab, their new assets platform, looks to outcompete the Unity Asset Store 10 times over. Not to mention the fact that Quixel is totally free to users. While it's true that the negatives of Unity are quickly piling up, it's important not to forget about everything Unity has given us. It's an extremely easy to learn engine that allows many people, like myself, to get into game development. The list of indie games made on the platform is endless, testament to the fact that Unity is an industry leader in independent game development. However, the question is now, has Unity lost that competitive edge? I've always loved the documentation and community that comes along with Unity. This is something that many other game engines just don't have. It's likely that swarms of devs will leave Unity for Godot or Unreal Engine, maybe even Lumberyard. Once there, the communities will grow and the documentation will increase alongside it. This will undoubtedly make it easier for devs to transition from Unity to these other platforms. While the allure of Unreal Engine is difficult to resist, and in truth it has been for quite some time now, I still don't think I'm ready to, to transition to another game engine. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm making the assumption that Unity won't do a massive U-turn, but so far there have been no signs of this, and the management teams have barely interacted with the devs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next episode.